I like what he said in the, in the press after the game as well. Um, they, there was a lot of conversations about his time at Florida so far and how he's liking it. And he said he's a Gator through and through. Uh, that gave me a lot of like just calmness and, and a little ease with what may happen later on the season. We don't know, but um, I think he's in love with the fan base and, and the whole environment at the University of Florida, bro. They, um, it, it will be interesting to see how they they handle it. Now, I think if Lagway, if if Billy does what fans want and just names Lagway the starter, I think he will throw Peyton Manning levels of interceptions, uh, Peyton Manning rookie year interception levels. Um, he's, we had to he's be still, negative. He, well, no, well, like. Well, well, one thing I do want to say is I, I think on on that RPO level, Silk, like DJ is not a running quarterback. He is a he's a guy who wants to be a pocket passer, has the arm talent that we just saw, mm-hmm. who can also break off a thirty yard run. Um, For but, sure, but he wants to be a pass first quarterback. So I, you know, I've been calling him a dual threat, and and, and he is, but I don't want that to be, you know. Uh, so the older generation, you know, is well, is he a runner or is he a quarterback? It's like, well, he's both. He can do both. Um, well, it was- 2024, we're here, man. You can do both yeah, these yeah. days. Well, he's a he's a um, threat, right? He's a dual threat. Yes, he, yeah, 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 a big threat. Yeah. He he is a threat enough that you're playing eleven on eleven. Like when if you're a defense and Graham Mertz is is for his quarterback, you're not playing eleven on eleven. You're playing eleven on ten because you're not really worried about Graham running. He might mm-hmm. you might give up a uh, thirty yards rushing, forty yards rushing a game to Graham, but you're not worried about it. You'll 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 concede that. Once you know, one time a drive, uh, twice a half maybe. Um, Lagway, you've you've got to have a spy. You've got to have somebody. Hey, watch him. Where is he going? Because um, he'll, if he needs to, and if it, it presents itself, he'll he'll have a hundred hundred plus yard rushing game. For sure, hundred um, percent. I just think where he is from seeing him in the spring, from seeing him in the fall, and from following him his the, towards the end of his junior year in high school, towards the end of his his senior year in high school or his entire senior year in high school he just he just did everything there um he was always the biggest kid on the field um they didn't have a lot around him um and it was just kind of like hey go make a play and he would and i think you have to kind of get that out of somebody when you're the biggest strongest fastest kid on every field you play you can just go kind of do stuff and you don't have to worry about progressions or things or you can just take off and and run i think he did a good job of getting down there were two instances I can remember where the where there was a helmet to helmet hit, no targeting called. Um, yeah, completely missed that. One of them where his, it looked like his bell was rung a little bit. The trainers ran out. He told him to get away. Um, but it, he's 19 years old, and if you start him the rest of the way, you're going to have to live with 19 year old errors and 19 year old mm-hmm. mistakes. For sure. That's why I 100%. say he, those windows that he, yes, he's fit some balls into some tight windows um, against Sanford. Those windows are. Way smaller when it's Tennessee, sure. when it's Georgia, when it's Texas, LSU. Um, those those linebackers are faster than the safeties that you were trying to throw over. Um, I I think, and if it were me, I'd start DJ, and if it didn't go well, I'd go to Graham. Um, I don't think that's going to be the case. I I, I, mm-hmm. I said last week. I said last week in the second quarter. I tweeted it out, uh, which yeah, the response was exactly what I expected. I was like, you guys are going to be mad as hell when Graham starts next week. And I've yeah. maintained that whenever Graham clears concussion protocol, which he should be clearing it right around now as Florida finishes up practice Monday Monday night, he will be the starting quarterback. Yeah, I ain't mad at it. I get um this this is a coach, this is a safe coaching staff. I didn't expect I don't I never expected the, um these guys to jump to Lagway as a starter. Mm-hmm. But um I'm I'm super ecstatic that Lagway presented this problem for them. Um because we went vertical as hell. Uh, and and the, the moment we can't go vertical, everybody's already seen it. Uh, it, it. It ain't absolutely all the play calling, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's also the guy that's at the helm of the quarterback mm-hmm. position. Um, even when he's trying to go deep, the deep ball accuracy just isn't there. Uh, and also, he's he's not giving guys opportunities just to win jump balls or whatever it may be. The, the deep ball just doesn't work. Um, what Ladway presented with Sanford, Everybody got to watch the film. It's not a lot of film on Lagway, but if you watch the film, it's going to open up defenses a little bit because now you can't load the box. It's going to help the run game. Right. And also some of the bubble screens and some of the sideways stuff that, that we do want to do. You just got to go vertical for a lot of this stuff to work, and we haven't had a vertical game whatsoever. And Graham Mertz seemed to be pressing last game, the Miami game. We're trying to go vertical. It just wasn't there. It's just not in his game to do that. Um, 
And some guys make their living just dinking and dunking. Tom Brady made, you know, he's probably the GOAT. And that was his specialty is dinking and dunking and, and, and letting guys do the magic after they catch the ball a little bit. Uh, but what, right now, this offense is condensed too much. It's put in the box. We haven't went vertical in a very long time. Uh, and you got you got the Badger one-on-one. I like, I like him to beat a lot of DBs in the SEC. Uh, mm-hmm. Same thing with Mazzell one-on-one. I like them guys to win a lot of those matches. 